Ever since I saw the edible tennis ball post on the Forever Dogs Lives Facebook page, I knew Benji would go mad for them. So if your dog loves balls too, this video is for you. But first, let's talk a little about the main ingredient, gelatin. You might have used it before when making jellies, souffles or mousses, but have you ever thought about giving it to your dog? Well, it didn't cross my mind until I looked at its possible benefits. Gelatin is mostly protein and we know how important it is to us as well as our dogs. They are the building blocks of muscles and other body tissues, assist in creating hormones and enzymes and can be used used as a source of energy. Proteins are made up of amino acids and dogs require 22 of them, 10 being essential amino acids. This means dogs' bodies can't make these and they need to be provided in the diet. Unfortunately, many dog foods, especially kibble, don't provide enough protein, which can result in protein deficiencies in dogs. Proteins are especially important for growing puppies and not supplying them in sufficient amounts can lead to reduced growth rate, poor cold, anorexia, anemia and behavioral changes, just to name a few negative effects. So treats like the ones we're going to do today are a great way to add that extra protein boost to your pup. Not only do you give your dog a fun activity when throwing them a ball, but you also help strengthen their gut lining, aid digestion, support cartilage, and reduce joint pain. And if your dog is suffering from epilepsy, glycine found in gelatin can help to protect against seizures and brain damage. So what's not to like? For a ball that fits one cup of liquid, you'll need four tablespoons of gelatin powder. I'm using pasture-raised bovine gelatin from a trusted brand, but you can use plain gelatin powder from a local grocery store too. Just make sure it's unflavored and without any sweeteners. One cup of bone broth or tea. And today I'm using broth, which is a dehydrated bone broth powder, which in all transparency is my company's product, but you can use homemade bone broth or tea instead. And yes, dogs can drink tea too and reap the benefits, just as we can. So you can use green, black or herbal tea, just make sure it's decaf. Mix of add-ins of your choice. These can be anything safe for your dog to consume that you have in your fridge or cupboard right now. From fruit and vegetables to herbs, meats, nuts and seeds. So get creative. Molds. I found these bath bomb molds online. They come in different sizes, which is quite useful if you have a smaller and bigger dog or even a cat, as they can enjoy these treats too some kind of oil to grease the molds. Let's start by making the liquid of your choice. I'll be making a few of these balls in one go, so I want to have enough liquid to work with, hence why I doubled the amount of gelatin and bone broth. I'm adding five scoops of bone broth powder and eight tablespoons of gelatin to 500 milliliter of boiled water and stirring until dissolved. The gelatin powder I'm using can be used with hot liquid, but some call for cold water to be mixed with it, so double check what yours says. I have a mix of various fruits and nuts, some seeds as well, some vegetables, soft boiled eggs and some salmon. You see, the beauty of this recipe is that once you have the mold and gelatin, you can make these treats in a few minutes. Have some plain leftovers from dinner or making dinner and have the end of veggies you'd normally cut off and dispose of. Don't throw them away. Use them to make these edible tennis balls. There really is no rule as to what you can put in them. As long as the ingredients are safe for dogs, it's all good. Now, let's lightly grease both halves of the bowl molds with the oil and place the add-ins inside. 
Pour the gelatin liquid to fill the mold to the rim and leave until mixture becomes a jelly-like consistency so that when we join both halves together, the liquid won't run out of the mold. Wipe the excess and put in the fridge for around 3 hours. If you're as paranoid as I am, you can wrap them in a cling film to make sure they don't move. Okay, it's been 3 hours and it's time to remove the balls from the molds. I'm very excited to see what they will look like and if Benji will be interested in them too. So, let's go. Okay, we're doing it. We are doing it. Oh, this looks great, Benji. <laughs> what do you think? I can see Benji can't wait to go play. So let's go outside and test them. We are back from our tasting session and I must say the balls were an absolute hit with the dogs. Benji, Freddy and Roxy loved chasing them, but figure out right away the balls were edible, so there wasn't that much petting going on after that, was it Benji? <laughs> I hope this video inspired you to try this recipe. For more, check out the Forever Dog Life book, which I took the recipe from and which is filled with so many other wonderful ideas I can't wait to try in the future. If you haven't heard of it yet, feel free to watch my video reviewing the book. And let me know if you made these balls for your pup in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.